Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Terry Cruz, and welcome to another NHL Rival Week. This is the next game that we are about to be seeing this next matchup. And you know this is one of our favorite rival games. It's the Hudson River rival matches of the series in between the New York Rangers. And they are facing at New Jersey to face against the Devils at Prudential Center. Now let's have a look at what the detail is all about for the New York Rangers and New Jersey Devils. This is one of the ice hockey rivalry in between for the Devils and New York Rangers for a very long time. They are also called the Cross River Rivals. This is because the uh, Madison Square Garden was in Midtown of Manhattan where the Rangers play and is across from the Hudson River. Less than 10 miles from the Prudential Center in downtown New York. That was the last one they have definitely have been playing it for their new team in a while. And also, previously, the Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford. That's definitely the home of the Devils. Travel between both arenas and it's easily accomplished by the both roads by and usually through the Lincoln Tunnel and the rail along the northeast of the corridor and path. Here's how they did. These are the two of the three teams that they played in New York City by the metropolitan area. And the others being the New York Islanders here too. But all three have a fierce bitter rivalries in between each other. As well as the other team, now formerly for the Atlantic Division team by the Flyers and Penguins. And here's how it happens now. This is what happens here. If you've seen the last game of the of the Stanley Cup playoffs last year, that was part of in 2023. If you guys remember this one here before, this was a lot that harder than they had when impressing on every team. But this is what nobody has never seen like this. In early 2013, to begin the season in late of January, New Jersey has won the first game between the two teams, through Rangers winning the remaining three. The Rangers 4-1 victory on April 21st at home officially ended the Devils' hopes to reach the playoffs that season, despite making the finals the previous year. And it was 2013-2014 of two teams squared off in the outdoor game in the Yankee Stadium. That's the part of it of the New Year's Eve to New Year's Day hockey. After taking a 3-1 lead in the game, the Devils eventually imploded and lost the game 7-3. This is throughout the season and New York has won two out of five meetings between them that year. And the Devils missed the playoffs for the second year in a row, which had not happened since 1987. And that's what happened finally made it to the finals which they had not done since 1994. New York lost to the Los Angeles Kings, who won their second cup in the three seasons. But as of right now, the team two, two teams met in the 2023 in the playoffs, making it to the seventh playoff series between the two teams. This was the first playoff between a series of the two teams for the Martin Broder that was not on the Dallas roster. And that was what happens because of Akira Schmidt has put a shot out in games 5 and 7. This is a lot of great motion and I'm thinking this one's going to be the best one. Standing by will be Jason Bolski and Cheryl along with Clara. They'll be up here in just a moment. But here as a starting group are Teddy Panarin, Adam Fox, and Igor Shosturkin is your starting goaltender for the New York Rangers. And on the other side is Jack Coos, Dougie Hamilton, and Jesper Pratt. And Vitek and Vanacek is a starting goaltender for the New Jersey Devils. Time for the Hudson rival matchup. Jay, guys, all yours. I'll see you all later after this. We are in Devils country here in New Jersey, the home of legends like Brooker, Peter Andre, Bill Stevens, Eliash, so many greats. Both teams lined up in the middle of the year ready to get things underway. The Rangers will start with the puck as they win the opening face-off here. New York's got the puck along the way. And it goes to the middle for some bucket. But as soon as you find it's spotted on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting straight to the puck and turning it aside. Huge steal of his own end. 
Just let's get physical on that play. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Zabinijan. New York's got it in their own zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's the chance. Slashing. Here's a shot, and a save. And we'll get 
with the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to left in the air. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Devils have it now. Pass across to the cloud. Great reach with the poke check by Gustafson. Quick feed to Lafreniere. Puck now loose in the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Lindgren. Feeds the puck across to Trojan. They go on the attack through center. Oh, Kovacek's in such great position, he's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know about that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. I'm sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, lose your body, and get the puck. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Play blown down, let's get... Two minute penalty for a whole game for New Jersey. Score by number eight, Jacob Truba. 
He switches this to you know, my number 93, Lucas Zibanejad, and my number 29, Blake Wheeler. Top of the goal, 12.26 remaining in the first period. With Jacob Drupal's goal, 7.48 remaining in the first period. Okay. Yeah, you're going to 
score goals. Trovas carrying it ahead. Fires it. Trust it back tight to his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Still plenty of time left in this frame. One nothing is where we sit at this point. Marcus Trovas defends the draw here in the defensive zone. Right up the cut into the offensive end. Criders into the offensive zone now on the attack. New York's got the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Criders. Shoots it, denied by the goaltender. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. Look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to try to find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, and that's an impressive save. New York's really put the pressure on here offensively. They lead in the second. In the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Hamilton stick handling in his own zone. Shot! Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweat it away. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control, makes your life so much easier. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. The Devils play the the boards. Takes a shot. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Truba's got the puck in his own zone. Takes it to the net. New Jersey's got the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The shot. Only got a piece of it to keep it out. New York's got a hold of it below the ball. Puck not loose after that hit. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. And he slides it quickly to Trocek. Dumps it into the ozone. The Devils have it behind the net. Takes the feed. Here's a chance. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. Quick feed to Brock. Keep it out. The Devils gain possession along the wall. Don't break, stop, pass the stick. And the first stop for Chuck's on top of the team stop to play. New York's been rewarded for their high activity in the offense and zone with lots of shots in the game here in the second. Trojects won it in their own end. Lose it quickly over to Panera. Face 
he's got a great glove hand and man does he ever show it off right there with the stop. Gustafson's just trying to get back on his feet here. I mean, that was a top hit right through the body. I'm sure he's still feeling the effects of that one. New York's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Moves it quickly over to Lazar. And now he tries to get it across to Palak. On the point, looks to make something happen. Denies him with the pad. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Broken up and centered by Hamilton.
Here goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 24, Kako Kako. This was this year by number 28, Werner Koya. And by number 23, Brian Lindgren. Time of the goal, 8 or 3 remaining in the third. Where were Kako Kako's goal, 11 38 remaining in the third period of the game. Cross the line and gain the zone. 
New York staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash in. You're feeling it, you love it, and you're going to share it. The Rangers have looked sharp tonight. Lots of pucks on net and a lot of goals as a result. New York's road it down and going to attack.
Doubles goal. His first goal of the season. Scored by number 28, Tim Myers. This is assisted by number 20, Dawson Mercer. And by number 28, Eric Pollock. Time to go. 1944 remaining in the third. Where Tim Myers scored 48 seconds in the third period of the game. As right now, this is a crush out. Let's have a three star player to the game. The third star goes to Mika Sabanajev with a goal assist and three hits. He's done really well in the backhand shot, and that assist turned out really well. The second star, on the other hand, goes to Jacob Truba with two goals and four hits. Only got two this time. Didn't get a hat trick this point, but only did really well on offense. And your first star goes to Sisterkin. All three Ranger fans just turned up to make the notch. And that's how you do, you just end a game here. Here's how the total statistics comes up at the game. 58 over 53 for New York, with the total shots on goal. 48 over 30 for New Jersey Devils. Then it's 647 time on attack over 553 for New York. Then it was 91% over 89 for New York. 26 over 24 to New York as for the faceoff wins. Penalty kill was 6 minutes and 4 minutes in between. No power play goals in between and there was 6 minute power play minutes for New York and 4 minutes for New Jersey. Well that was surprising and I can definitely tell you now there was a lot of much bunch of goals here made here in New Jersey. Well I just have to tell you because there's a lot of them for New York they put up an up pressure run. A lot of biggest moments and New York Rangers love to take out the Devils at Prudential Center. But not for the Devils, they want to win here against the New York Rangers. And definitely at the Garden too. Well, I guess that's all that settles down, partner. You can't just make a win out of it on your own. Especially when it comes up to a Hudson River rival matchup series. Even, even of course the Meadowlands for sure. <laughs> And if you also have some tickets here, you can get yours right in this moment before before the day of February 17th and the 18th hits. As we see the Flyers and the and the Devils and Rangers versus the Islanders, the Battle of New York, in between the two days. Save the dates here on the calendar, and I'll be at MetLife Stadium. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate this one. Looking for more Rival Week matchups. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL 24 Rival Week dial on EA Sports. This is Terry Crews. You can follow Son of Beast on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Link to the About page. Thanks for so much for joining us and see you next time. Have a great night everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.